So something that I want to discuss right here is an issue that many new people run into, and that is maintaining tension on your lines as you're tying something off. For example, if you're tying an ankle to a bedpost, uh, or even if you're at the point of doing a suspension, sometimes you lose tension as you attempt to tie off utilizing half hitches or other frictions. And I'm going to show you what I mean by that. So for this setup, got something simple. I just got dining room chair. So that way we're not putting anyone in danger. It just has a simple single column hanging off of it with a nice generous bite. And I'm going to pretend that this right here is my hard point. So I run from my single column to my hard point, back through the bite, and back to my hard point. Simple so far. I go ahead and get my tension locked in. And then what you see a lot of people do is that they just go straight for this half hitch here. Because uh, it's relatively simple and you know you gotta lock it off. So they create this half hitch. But I want you to watch the chair closely. You'll notice that it dropped ever so slightly here. Let me show you one more time with a larger lead so that you can really get a feel for it. So, as I got my tension here, just gonna make a longer lead. Got my half hitch. As I raise it, it actually dropped on my foot. Um, you'll notice that the chair dropped uh, quite a ways as I raised the half hitch all the way up to the top of this hard point here. And the reason is, is because as you make that half hitch, you have all this dead space, right? All of this line right here, this is what you have to take up. And so as you try to take that up, you're kind of putting it into free fall. For example, if I just have this before I lock it off and I let go of the rope, we all know what's gonna happen. It's gonna drop, like so. So in order to mitigate that, what we can do is tie a friction before your half hitch and a particular type of friction that can be tied under tension. Because your half hitch, you can't maintain perfect tension throughout, as we just saw. But what you can do is take your running end, wrap it around your upline, back through the hard point, like so. And so what that does, so if you look at the back here, you'll see it creates this little U-shape. Really what it is is that the running end is now pressed up against all of these lines, which gives it a little bit of friction there. So now if I let go of this rope, it goes at a much slower pace. You can see the slack in the line. Versus if I just did a straight drop, it would drop immediately. So there's now a small amount of friction there. So as I raise this guy back up, I just do this quick little friction that can be done under tension, meaning you can maintain the tightness of your line. Now it's in place. And now I have a lot more wiggle room as I assemble my half hitch. So, go ahead, do my half hitch. Hold this chair stable so that way you can see if it drops or not. And you'll notice it didn't drop at all. A little bit of shake for me pulling on the line, but the chair itself did not drop an inch. And so, having a little bit of friction there while you're assembling your lock off really helps you maintain your tension. And so if you run into issues where you're trying to crank something down nice and tight and all of a sudden you're coming up with slack somewhere, it's likely due to something like this.